Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with a college football preview for you between Pittsburgh and number 14 ranked Notre Dame this Saturday at 3.30 Eastern on NBC. I'm going to let you know the best way to play this game and make some money in college football on Saturday. Week 9 is here on Wager Talk TV. Hey, we're talking college football, NFL, of course, in full swing. 3-0 sweep, by the way, last Sunday on my NFL side best bets. Not a surprise. I was ranked number one in college and pro football sides last year combined at wagertalk.com. Baseball World Series is here, but the NBA starts this week as well. Basketball season is here as well. This is one of the only times of the year you get all the major sports going at once. So it's the best time of the year to have an all-sports, all-access subscription at wagertalk.com. And I've got several promos and specials on my page right now. A three-day, a one-month, even a one-year Go check it out right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. All right, let's get into this game on Saturday afternoon between Notre Dame and Pittsburgh. You know, we talk a lot about bye weeks this time of year, as a lot of teams are getting their buys, and sometimes they come at the right time, sometimes they don't. I think this is a textbook example of the right time for Notre Dame. Boy, did they need a bye week, not only because they just played USC and they've got Clemson on deck, but let's look at the schedule. They played Ohio State, Duke, Louisville, USC four weeks in a row, Four hard-fought games. Didn't necessarily go down to the wire the last couple of weeks, but the Ohio State game definitely did. They gave up the losing touchdown with one second remaining. Keep in mind, Notre Dame only had 10 players on the field for those final two plays of the goal line. Just inexcusable. And then the following week, they were actually trailing late until their come-from-behind front-door cover and win against Duke. And then, of course, they were in a terrible spot against Louisville the following week. We took advantage. In fact, I had a strong best bet for my clients on Louisville a couple of weeks ago at wagertalk.com. But then we came right back and used Notre Dame in their next game against USC. And don't forget, not only were those pay plays for my paid clients, I gave them both out to you for free on my college football top 25 video. Yet another reason to hit subscribe and hit the bell right here on Wager Talk TV when that college football top 25 video goes live each week. And yes, Notre Dame was a bit fortunate against USC. They had a 5 nothing turnover edge. They were actually outgained by over 50 yards. But that's misleading. It was a good spot for Notre Dame, and that was part of the handicap. I thought it was a great bounce back at home after the Louisville loss. And keep in mind, the Louisville loss, they had five turnovers to one, and that's why they lost that game. And that was part of the handicap as well. It was a flat spot. I knew after the tough last-second deciding uh, victory and loss against Ohio State and Duke, and with the look ahead to USC, Notre Dame was not in a good spot. So with that said, this is still a really good Notre Dame team. If you look at all the metrics, they're a dominant team on both sides of the ball. An excellent rushing and passing offense. Excellent rushing and passing defense. I definitely rate them as one of the best teams in the country. And off the bye week, they should be focused here. Yes, they had the look ahead to Clemson. But I think that's even more of a reason they don't mess around this week against a weak Pittsburgh team. And I say weak. This team is 1-5 straight up in ATS their last six. Keep in mind, their only win during that span and their only cover was against Louisville, who, yes, was coming off the win. The upset went against Notre Dame from the week before. So you see how it all ties together. Situational handicapping is so important this time of year in college football. And I think this is a good situational spot to back Notre Dame at minus 21 or less. As we check the Wager Talk live odd screen early in the week here, line opened 17.5 and, and was instantly bet up to 19.5, 20. As long as it stays below that key number of 21, I think Notre Dame is the only way to play it. So if you're going to play it, you better lay it. And by the way, Pittsburgh struggles to throw the ball this year. They struggle to run the ball. They're a below average offense, and that takes away some of that backdoor cover potential as well late in the game. Uh, I don't trust Pittsburgh. If you take out that Louisville flat spot, Pitt is 0-5 straight up in ATS and all other games going back except for week one against Wofford. So once again, Notre Dame looks like the only way to play this one. And don't be worried about the Clemson look ahead. I think the Irish come focused here off their bye week. Notre Dame, that goes at 3.30 Eastern on Saturday on NBC. Hey, once again, if you want an all-sports, all-access special right now, I've got a three-day, a one-month, even a one-year. That three-day, you need a special promo code this week, ACCESS3, gets it down to 49 It's normally 69 gives you an instant $20 discount when you use promo code ACCESS3. All the details, all the promo codes are posted on my homepage right now, along with my daily best bets and bonus free plays, Steve Merrill wagertalk.com. Hey, if you're finding this useful, give the video a thumbs up, a like, and comment below. I read all the comments. Let me know if this is a focus spot for Notre Dame this week, if you agree or disagree, and put on your other best bets with some analysis as well. We love the analysis. Let's win together right here on Wager Talk TV, and be sure to stay tuned here on Wager Talk TV for more great college football and pro football preview videos coming up next.